lie, my mom was going out to do this. I always knew that words had power, but a friend of mine said I'm a wallflower. He said in the midst of adversity, you never learn to be someone who could overcome uncertainty and that fed my insecurities when youngers returned to me, making me wonder, can I help her or he? But as I write this down on a piece of paper with a felt tip, I forget that opinion and anyone else who dares to doubt. I'm not scared to shout at the ones who are doubting me or say thank you to the ones who are proud of me. So many people asking how can he find these ingredients to create the perfect alchemy. You want to be rock climbers will never amount to me. I'm about to be the next big thing to sow a seed of success and determination. So I'm germinating the master plan. I'm permeating the artist's hand with blood, sweat and work. I can't fathom any more fears and I can't fathom any more tears. I'm just planning for the next 24 years so the road to destiny can remain clear. I no longer ponder whether or not this pen that I've got can help me stay near my goals, dreams and future achievements. This is the grievance of a cocky genius who wants to walk in his own to the top but keeps on looking back to see where the sheep is. The boy needed time to grow. He almost went to death until he started rhyming quotes. It's a wonderful thing when a singer starts to find his notes as he forgets his family's debts and he forgets his heart is broke. He started this journey in order to find a voice. And then he started to crave respect from other girls and boys. And while he contests he's the best when he begins to make noise, the real reason he's doing this is he has no other choice. He finally understands what rhymes encompass, but looked at his mom's bank account and only saw minus numbers. He can't buy the map, he can't buy the compass, the world's making her cold, he can't afford to buy her jumpers. He had another show and he's warming up the crowd of belief, but they don't know he's performing in the shroud of deceit. Criminal obsessions with clinical depression, ready to pounce if he admits defeat, and he's about to fall off the mountainside before he hits the peak. The boy's soul is full of love and he wants to fill the nation, that's why he's always writing bars about the real inspiration. He is convinced some kid out there might be in need of his help but hasn't realized in all of his stories he's actually talking to himself. The boy talks about all of my worst fears and how hard it was for me to get out of third gear. And I remember all the spineless cowards that had a lot to say about me in first year, but I no longer care. I have a whole city of rebels running with me. I know how hard it is to excel in London City. But writing for others is a whole new different territory and this is the eventual consequence of when we keep on telling stories. We are not friends. I don't know what you go back to when you go to homework or your ends, but our lives must improve despite the up and down trends. This wound will not stop bleeding if I say hocus pocus. So I'll get down on my knees and pray for total focus, because nowadays I'm known the most for moments of genius and inspiration, but sometimes it's hopeless. I yearn for praise and adulation, but people die seeking it. This is supposed to be about more than titles and leadership. It's about integrity and the lack or need of it, but as I say these words, I wonder, do I even believe in it? They say extra luggage will affect you in the fight. They say extra baggage will affect you in the flight. But maybe, just maybe, you had to walk alone through the darkness. So one day your story could be a testament to the light. Hi, I'm Tom O'Dell. Hey, it's Holly Humberstone here. Hi, I'm Samuel West. Hi, I'm Melanie C. Thank you so much for watching. Like venues around the world, the Royal Albert Hall has been closed for over a year. They have 
50 million pounds worth of losses. And 20 million pounds in debt. And we need your help to keep 